Last video, we used this formula to create incrementing numbers with categories that show six numbers. This video, we want to do the same formula, but with the new Office 365 Dynamic Arrays. Now this formula is a fine formula. The dynamic array formula we're going to create is going to be a bit easier to create. But the biggest advantage is that with this formula, we had to copy it down. As we'll see with dynamic arrays, we don't have to copy the formula down. We're going to use one of the new dynamic array functions called sequence. Now, currently, August 5th, 2019, it's only in Office 365 Insider Edition. Now, how many rows do we need to copy this down? Well, I already took the final upper end divided by the increment in this cell. So we have 250 rows, comma. For columns argument, the default is 1, which is perfect for us, comma. Well, we're starting at 1, comma, and the step is 6. Now, when I close parentheses, watch what happens when I hit Enter. That's the beauty of these dynamic arrays. I don't have to copy this number incrementing formula down. And if I change the final upper end to 42, that is beautiful. Control-Z. Now, the dynamic arrays will all be grayed out in the cells below the top cell. The top cell is where the formula lives. F2, we need to join it in double quotes with a dash, and then we join it to a second sequence. Here, while well, we need the same number of rows, comma, comma, the start is going to be 6, comma, step 6. Close parentheses when I hit Enter. That formula is much easier to create than the previous formula. And of course, if I change this to 42, I have exactly spilled the correct number of labels. Control-Z. Now, if you want to learn more about these dynamic array formulas, check out this comprehensive introduction. And of course, if you want to see how we did this the first video, there's Excel Magic Trick 1585. <laughs>